In this video, we will understand the concept of limit of a function. Consider a function gx equals x cubed minus 2x plus 3. Its value at x equals 0 will be g0 equals 3. Consider hx equals x square minus 1. Its value at x equals 1 will be h1 equals 0. Now consider function fx equals x square minus 1 over x minus 1. Its value at x equals 1 will be f of 1 equals 1 square minus 1 over 1 minus 1 equals which will be 0 over 0. This is called an indeterminate form and we say that function fx is not defined at x equals 1. We have seen that function fx equals x square minus 1 over x minus 1 is not defined at x equals 1. Now we will study the behavior of x square minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 but not equals 1. Therefore, we will find the value of fx say for example at x equals 1.1, 1.01, 1.001, etc. At x equals 1.1, f of 1.1 will be 2.1. At x equals 1.01, f of 1.01 will be 2.01. At x equals 1.001, f of 1.001 will be 2.001. We observe that as x approaches 1 through 1.1, 1.01, 1.001, 1 etc., fx approaches 2 through 2.1, 2.01, 2.001, etc. The process of fx approaching 2 as x approaches 1 is known as the limiting process. It is denoted as x arrow 1 and read as x approaches 1. As x approaches 1 also means x not equal to 1. In the language of limits, it is written as limit x square minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 equals 2. Here 2 is called the limiting value. Generally limit fx as x approaches a is evaluated by putting x equals a in the function fx provided fx is defined at x equals a. In this case, fx is defined at x equals a. Therefore, this limit will be f of a. Now, we evaluate limit x square minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. We have already seen that the function x square minus 1 over x minus 1 is not defined at x equals 1. So, to evaluate it further, we will factorize the numerator x square minus 1 by using the identity a squared minus b squared equals a minus b into a plus b. Therefore, the factors of x square minus 1 will be in the next step x minus 1 into x plus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. Here, as x approaches 1, x not equal to 1, which means x minus 1 not equal to 0. Therefore, we can cancel the factor x minus 1 from numerator and denominator and our limit becomes x plus 1 as x approaches 1. Here, the function x plus 1 is defined at x equals 1, so we will substitute x equals 1 in this function and evaluate the limit. It will become 1 plus 1 that is 2. Here 2 is called 
the limiting value of fx. Solve limit x square minus 9 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3. Here x approaches 3. If we put x equals to 3 in the denominator it will become 0. Therefore this function becomes undefined at x equals 3. To solve the limit further we have to factorize the numerator x square minus 9 by using the identity a square minus b square equals a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Therefore, the limit becomes x plus 3 into x minus 3 over x minus 3. As x approaches 3, x not equal to 3 therefore x minus 3 is not equal to 0 therefore we can cancel the factor x minus 3 from numerator and denominator and we get the limit as limit x plus 3 as x approaches 3 here the function x plus 3 is defined at x equals 3 therefore we solve it by substituting x equals 3 in the function. So the limit becomes 3 plus 3 which will be 6. Here 6 is called the limiting value of fx. Now let us understand all this graphically. We have fx equals x square minus 9 over x minus 3. As x not equal to 3, one of the factors of x square minus 9 that is x minus 3 will get cancelled with this x minus 3 and what remains is fx equals x plus 3. Now this being a linear function its graph will be a straight line. Let's draw the graph. y axis, x axis, point 3, point minus 3, point 6. Now we know that x is not equal to 3 and 6 is the limiting value. Therefore, the point 3, 6 will not lie on the graph. It has been shown by a hollow point like this and the graph will be like this. Now x is approaching 3 through smaller values than 3 that is 2.9, 2.99, 2.999 etc. It is written as x approaches 3 negative and its limit will be left hand limit equals limit x square minus 9 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 negative equals 6 x approaches 3 from the values higher than 3 such as 3.1, 3.01, It is written as x approaches 3 positive and the limit is known as right hand limit or RHL equals limit x square minus 9 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 positive equals 6. In general, if limit of x as x approaches a equals l, then we must remember two things. Number one, as x approaches a, x not equal to a. Number two, l is the limiting value of the function fx because the actual value f of a does not exist. Now we will understand how to find limit of a piecewise function. A piecewise function is one which is defined differently in different sections of its domain. Here y equals 1 when x is less than or equal to 0 and y equals 2 when x is greater than 0. Before we find its limit, let's draw its graph. y-axis, x-axis, 
origin. Now here x equals 0 and y equals 1. Therefore, the point 0, 1 will lie on the graph. It will be a solid point and shown like this. Now, the graph of y equals 1 will be a horizontal line and since x is negative, the graph will lie on the negative side of x-axis. Now as x approaches 0 from the negative side, it can be shown as x approaches 0 negative and the limit will be left hand limit LHL equals limit 1 as x approaches 0 negative will be 1. Next as x is positive and y equals 2, the point 0, 2 will be a hollow point shown like this and will not lie on the graph. And the graph of y equals 2 will be a horizontal line passing through the 0, 2. Since x approaching 0 from the positive side, it can be shown as x approaches 0 positive and the limit will be right hand limit equals limit 2 as x tends to 0 positive equals 2. We must note here that whenever limit of x as x approaches a negative not equals limit of x as x approaches a positive. Left hand limit not equals right hand limit which means limit of x as x approaches a does not exist. Now we will understand how to find limits of constant functions. Here limit 5 as x approaches 0. Here 5 is a constant and x approaches 0. There is no x in 5 which can approach 0. Therefore, this limit will be 5 itself. Consider limit minus 2 as x approaches 4. Here, there is no x in minus 2 which can approach 4. Therefore, this limit will be minus 2 itself. Consider limit root 7 as x approaches minus 3. There is no x in root 7 which can approach minus 3. Therefore, this limit will be root 7 itself. So in general, we can say that limit of k as x approaches a is k where k is a constant. Now, we will understand how to find limit of a piecewise function. A piecewise function is one which is defined differently in different sections of its domain. In this function, fx is x minus 2 when x is less than 0, fx is 0 when x equals 0, and fx is x plus 2 when x is greater than 0. Before we find its limit, we will draw its graph. So, x-axis, y-axis, and origin. Since x is less than 0, the point 0 minus 2 will not lie on the graph. Therefore, the point 0 minus 2 is shown by a hollow point like this. When x is less than 0, y equals x minus 2 x minus 2 is a linear function its graph will be a straight line the coefficient of x is 1 here see here the coefficient of x is 1 so the slope of this line will be 1 hence the line will be inclined at 45 degrees to the y-axis since 
x is less than 0 this line will emerge from the hollow point 0 minus 2 and will expand in the negative part of x axis fx is x minus 2 when x is less than 0 or x approaches 0 from the left hand side therefore the left hand limit will be limit x minus 2 as x approaches 0 negative that will be minus 2 when y equals 0 x equals 0 therefore the origin 0 0 will lie on the graph and has been shown by a solid point since x is greater than 0 the point 0 2 will not lie on the graph therefore the point 0 2 has been shown by a hollow point like this when x is greater than 0 y equals x plus 2 now x plus 2 is a linear function its graph will be a straight line the coefficient of x is 1 here so the slope of this line will be 1 hence the line will be inclined at 45 degrees to the y-axis since x is greater than 0 or positive this line will emerge from the hollow point 0 2 and will expand in the positive part of the x-axis when x approaches 0 from the right side fx equals x plus 2 therefore the right hand limit will be rhl equals limit of x plus 2 as x approaches 0 positive will be equal to 2 here we observe that the left hand limit is minus 2 and right hand limit is plus 2 since left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit we can say that limit of fx does not exist so these are the basics of limits of functions in the next video we will learn how to find limits of other different types of functions if you like my video please click like and share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching